All right, guys, we're on our way to Canada. Canada. And we are in the foothills of Alabama <laughs> right now. Uh, actually, we're in, we just drove through Philadelphia. So. We're stuck in traffic in uh, the suburbs. The burbs. Let's get one of these guys. Hey. So we're headed up to Toronto to uh, visit Billy from Mutation Creation, Carrie and Barrows from KB Reptiles, and Mark Orfis from Northern Mark Gecko. Mark Orfis from Northern Gecko. Hopefully I said his last name right. Yeah, I hope so. And uh, we're also gonna try to throw in a couple other little things and we'll be doing, uh, there's a reptile show in Toronto. So uh, we'll be also doing that video. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we made it. We're at Mutation Creation here in Canada. Billy's just over there. We're kind of like snooping around the collection right now. So we're gonna take you around to see some of the awesome animals he's produced. Already blown away, we've only been here for like 10 minutes. That's sick. Holy cow. Uh, yeah. There aren't even words, man. Holy crap. Pasta lunchy freeway clown. The contrast on the head markings compared to the body is ridiculous. The colors. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy how it oh turned out. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at his that. belly. Holy cow. Maybe pastel might be nice and clown after all. Maybe. <laughs> You've been ripping on the pastel gene, but really. Yeah. I that, mean, this is really what makes this combo the pastel, actually. Yeah. yeah this, this is what we're going for. It's <laughs> crazy. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. So this here is an albino. I would say asphalt. And I've made some weird combos. Like, look how rich the color is, because yeah, that's the color definitely is. To all compare to another albino asphalt, okay, this is an albino asphalt. That's nuts. It's nuts. So I have had the last few years some weird babies come out. Um, so something I get to prove out. But look at the coloration difference. Even the pattern. You know, you yeah. can, you know, you can see the yellow belly here and the flaming coming up. So, well, not yellow belly, sorry, the asphalt, albino asphalt, and this is the sibling. So that's, that is wild. Um, I might be even thinking it could be hep pied. I mean, it looks sort of no idea, <laughs> but just the coloration on it is like, look at this. It's almost like a peach. Mm-hmm. The fact that the tail pattern kind of all melts together. All melts together, end. yeah. I'm thinking maybe hep pied, but the contrast is ridiculous. It's it's really strange. Hmm. But yeah, there could be a whole bunch of other things in a lot of these animals, and that's why I just love, I don't know, I guess hoarding them back. Because, you know, when you see something like, hey, that's strange, I also like the challenge to, to sort of prove it out. Yeah. But when it's something that dramatic, I mean, you that's something. dramatic. <laughs> that's very dramatic. Like, that thing there is like, whoa, if there's something going on in this, I'm going to prove it out. Because right now, whatever that is, is cool just on its own. Mm -hmm. So I love dinkers. Yeah. So, um, relax. You know the belly on this one? Wow. So mm -hmm. I just looked at it really reduced alien heads but that belly i'm like what that is interesting Can so i think it's the face hmm. you know just like just looking at the pattern on the alien heads it's really really clean mm -hmm. really reduced and then when i when i looked at the belly i'm like what so just something i held back and okay flex And then, uh, yeah, just hopefully, you know, put it to some stuff, see what goes on, and 
But yeah, I like my Anchor projects. They're fun. I also. So what is this? This at first we just thought was a, an OD pied, but now you can see almost the coloration. I definitely say Enchi as well. It's fun. Who knows? <laughs> it came from Aussie stock, so who knows what else is going on? It's one of my favorites too. Super Enchi Fighter Fly Freeway. Wow. The freeway when it, it the the head doesn't even look like it belongs to the body. And I love it that it does that. The heck is going on there? It's crazy. Yeah, Ozzy has one similar to this. Head pied as well. Like so nice. He's I think he's got it up on Morph Market, but just yeah, awesome. And there's a super enchi fire without the pastel. So you take the pastel away. And then you get, yeah, just one gene transforms this to that one I just had out. There's that head, where and is people it? People hate on the pastel, but I mean, sometimes it just really works. You just got to find the right, like, you know, people were hating on red stripe and spot nose years and years ago. And guess what? You find that right potential combination and just whole new, whole new game. I just love the striping and the... the yeah, the contrast of the and here's one that's really awesome i'll show you over here let's see these are enchi freeways 66 percent heck clown and they both ate so here's one oh man that's cool okay and here's the sibling like i said they're 66 percent heck clown relax hey no biting your sister There's like reds and greens in like this. relax why are you biting your sister she don't like you whoa that's crazy. so I'll leave her, but I don't know why there's such a huge difference between the two. Maybe the heck clown influence, but they're siblings from the same clutch. But this one here is so deep. I really like that, man. And I've seen most of my entry freeways like this, so I'm gonna tend to say that the one on the right is gonna prove out to be heck clown, but then, you know, I can't guarantee anything, but I've produced so many entry freeways, they look similar to this feisty female here. I'm sure she's a great eater. This is a what? This is a banana java pied. This is a male, female maker, because it came from a female. Now java is a darker gene. Um, Mark Mandic, Marcus Jane, ball pythons. Um, he, I believe, was the one that found it in his collection. And there is a super java. And the super java pied, I, I, I've been trying for I think last year. Last year I didn't do a pairing, but the year before I did and I missed. But he's produced the Super Java Pied and it is just phenomenal. That's a cool looking animal. Wow. Yeah, it really makes the uh, contrast in the banana pop. It's awesome. All right, guys, I know you've seen this animal before. Unfortunately, it's in a shed, but this is beautiful. Leopard monsoon. Look, the pattern goes onto the belly. Just speckled everywhere. Man. Oh, growing like a weed, too. Look at this thing, it's huge. It's our MO for it to be in shed. <laughs> We love them when they're in shed. It's our favorite. Which means that they're growing though, that's good. Look at the reds. Let's talk about it. I know that you're on. I'm hey on. guys, we're here. <laughs> so this is a super asphalt. More energy. This is a super asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> we love dark contrasty snakes. This thing looks like a storm. It's brooding. The blushing almost looks red. I love the dark contrast. Look at this belly. And it's head albino. Head albino. Beautiful. Pastel Enchi, super ashfold. Yeah, in shed. Colors are actually, yeah, I love the flaming. Look at that. 
pastel inchi super asphalt we're gonna take this one home okay <laughs> It's, Only, in his, it's in his hold back rack. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> actually, this is going to... Uh... Actually, no. I'm actually keeping it now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I thought it was a pastel at first, but it's not. It's not pastel. I mean, uh, it's not just pastel. Oh, uh, gotcha. And there's a super asphalt head albino. Yeah. Those are beautiful. We love the contrasty stuff. Yeah, me too. I liked it all. Before, I wasn't a big fan of the, co you know, the, the dark snakes. Mm -hmm. I was always into the bright and the colorful. And then it switched to, I was really into dark for a little bit. And then I'm like, why do I have to pick? Yeah, that's yeah. the best part. You do everything. Yeah, you <laughs> do it all. And then start mixing the bright with the dark. And then that's what's great with banana. You know, banana and, and other jeans like. Blackhead um, and cinnamon banana stuff. Yeah, even my lavender stuff. I have a lot of lavender Mojave blackhead. Um, mm -hmm. You know, getting those dark jeans into banana and lavender. Um, the contrast pulls. Yeah. Leopard leopard uh, lavenders are phenomenal looking. Absolutely. My blackhead lab, the color and the contrast, the purple's so deep. Let's, let's, let's show them. <laughs> show that junks. Alright. Are you on? I'm on. All the time? All the time. <laughs> This is a super banana clown. And it honestly, like people use the word pastel for a jean, but this is like pastel colors. Like this is beautiful. And then he has the similar one. Man. I got one down here for you too. This is what I believe is the pastel Banana Mojave Spot Nose Clown. Oh, that's beautiful too. Man. It's, just a, it's so different, but yeah, it's um, you know, it's a few extra jeans. It's like a burgundy highlight. Man. Yeah, and then here's the super pastel form. <laughs> that's crazy. And then there, I believe this is a banana pastel Mojave Clown. So banana pastavi clown. Yes, that's right. That has the spot nose in it. So much it's like that is just it's it's crazy. That almost looks hypo as crazy as that sounds. Wow. Yeah, it's just crazy the stuff that we can do. Imagine adding some enchi in this and some OD and especially like yellow belly or asphalt. Here's one that I was happy to hit this year. Oh, the nice and fat. This is the Cypress Spot Nose Clown. This is the one that has cocoa on the side. C O C O. Uh, cool. Cocoa. <laughs> cocoa. Oh. So you can just toss red stripe into that and uh, yellow belly. Nuts. Yeah, it just. Uh, I want to get this into my asphalt stuff or my yellow belly clown stuff as well. But I love the contrast and the colors. That head is amazing. Mm -hmm. right. Lightning Pied, Azanthic Pied from Marcus Jane's line. You got, you were really, like, you produced a good bit of these this year, right? Quite a few, yeah. yeah. I think uh, 15 or 16 you this out year. Of the park. Like, it was yeah. crazy. <laughs> I had one clutch, I hit seven out of eight. I was just <laughs> so happy. It is beautiful. Do you, have you seen these uh, as adults yet? Yeah. Do they hold the silvers? Quite a bit. I'll yeah. get one of my, my bigger males. Well, you see with uh, some of the azanthic stuff is that it starts to brown out as it ages. But if you can do combinations to kind of hold on to that silver. Here's one of my, my this oh, guy's wow. going to be a male this year. That is wow. So they pretty much look like this into adulthood. That's beautiful. So this silvery turns into, it, it fades a little. But it's but still only slightly. Yeah, only slightly. But these blacks stay deep and, and rich. You know what you should do with that? I know you're going to hate me to say it, but you should put Desert Ghost into that. Uh, yeah, DG. Um, do I have? It would be a triple I don't have it. But I have it in Clown. So I have triple recessive Desert Ghost. Um, actually, it's not Desert Ghost. It's Enhancer. I have Enhancer, VPI, Exanthic, and Clown. 
So mm -hmm. uh, this male here, he's going into some clown stuff because all the um, uh, exanthic clowns that I have are VPI line. So mm -hmm. now I want to start seeing in, in years to come the exa uh, MJ exanthic clown. And mm -hmm. then that way I'll have some adults growing up and I can see right from the start what an MJ exanthic clown looks like and how it ages compared to what I've been doing with the VPI for the last few years. Mm -hmm. Well, that's amazing. I'm, I'm really glad that you had an older example of that to show. Cause yeah, I did have a few uh, breeder females, but they were sold. Yeah. Um, but still, if you look on my Instagram, you'll see they're still vivid and dark. That's awesome. Do you have any visuals of these yet? Yeah, and this is yeah. a lesser het tri-stripe. But there's another gene in here called electric. Because if you look at that, that does not look like any lesser no. I've ever seen. Wow. So there's another gene called electric. I'm not too familiar with it. Oh, nice. This is Ryan's amazing. new uh, poison here. He's like, we really should get into tri stripe. We're, we're trying to not buy any more animals just yet, but. There's so much potential with this gene. I've got uh, tri stripe going to Desert Ghost stuff this year. Yeah. Uh, four or five gene banana. I've nice. got it into, um, you know, two, three gene clown as well. Oh, nice. Um, also an Ultramel. The Ultramel tri stripes are ridiculous. <laughs> they're, it's, they're all ridiculous. So it's, you know, now yeah. I'm just basically, you know, making a bunch of hets and a bunch of het combos, uh, you know, playing just for the, the future. Game. Yeah, yeah, playing the long game. But which is good because I do have two females, so I I'm, I have a great chance of making combo visuals this year. Nice. So it's you know, it's not exactly the visuals I want, but it's, a, it's still it's visuals. Step and, in the right direction. And yeah, it's it's so hard when you have to start a project from scratch, mm -hmm. and you know it's like you can't even hit a visual and or, or these you know the crazy combos that you're expecting years to come. Yeah. So Man. it's always good to have you know this year I can actually hit visual combos and make a whole bunch of uh, head stuff and combo head stuff down the road. That's so you great. get a little bit of a fix of what's coming, <laughs> yeah. you know? Cool, man. <laughs> All right. Try start. Try start. Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> this video is brought to you today by Ford. Uh, built Ford Tough. Thank you for making this possible. <laughs> Thanks for making this possible. Um, so I'm going to check out this Black pastel lavender, 50% hip hide. I'm a black pastel fan, and look how just the color difference from the regular lavender. Look how orange this is compared to, and how this isn't the white lavender type color. It's more of a, a pale pink. It's so cool looking. And I just want to say real quick, if you guys see in some of these water dishes, uh, the water's tinted a little bit. It happens to anybody that's using uh, cocoa chips. Of course, he, it's not going to go in there. This guy's a little bit in shed. Um, the cocoa chips turn the water a little bit of a color. It, it doesn't hurt the animals. Um, it's fine for them. But if you see that, don't freak so out. So this blew my mind when I first made it. And it's this one here. I made two. I don't know if they're yellow belly or asphalt, so I'm proving them out this year. Okay. Oh, yeah. I Heck. believe it to be a super orange dream calico, asphalt or yellow belly. But just look wow. at the oranges coming yeah. up from the belly. Those burnt sides. Yeah, Holy Dave cow. Levinson, eat your heart out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, so, man. Like just Is there any other possibilities? That, that asphalt's almost acting like a little bit like the cinnamon. Yep, now here is another one. So it came from a freeway. Goodness. So still same rich, beautiful oranges coming up from wow, the side. Just unbelievable right here. This. And you can see the calico. Yeah. This one here is more heavily, you know, with the calico. This mm. one here a little less, lower, lower expression, but still very, you know, high expression, but mm -hmm. not as high as this. So one of them, well, I shouldn't say that because they both came from a freeway. So they could both be asphalt. Mm -hmm. They could both be yellow belly or we could have one or the other. Mm -hmm. If I had to guess, because this is a little darker and I think the color is more rich, I would say this to be the asphalt and this to be the yellow belly. But I've been wrong before. So, wow. you know, I'm proving each one out to an ivory. 
So I'm definitely going to know if I'm going to have more ivories or more freeways. Wow. It's really cool. Is so I don't know if you've seen the campfire. Yes. That. So yeah. That's the, the most it's similar. Similar, thing. yeah. It's it's just crazy. This the oranges that you get along the belly here is just it's just crazy. Like, look at that. Oh, now I'm getting there. Oh, sorts of crazy. Just look how orange, and then it turns just to so white. I really like calico mixing in. We have a bunch of calico stuff, um, but we weren't mixing it into this stuff and we're we're gonna start um, doing that. We did get a uh, kind of a step up from a campfire from Dave Levinson and uh, yeah, it's amazing, I, yeah, I saw that. It's funny and sometimes you're like, oh man, these are just like, just a couple jeans and they just look awesome. And I think that uh, the, the world where we were living in five years ago, everybody's like, we gotta stack, we gotta stack, we gotta stack. And then Justin's like, well, maybe you shouldn't stack everything. And then yep. a couple people are like, you know, we really, I'm telling you, I see some stuff that's like two jeans, like even just an amazing expression of like a banana Mojave. Correct. Blows you me start away. Start adding pastel or other jeans, yeah. it washes that. It, it pulls that that the true coloration of the banana that we love so right. much. It yeah. just changes it. Um, and I always say, sometimes less is more. Yeah, and absolutely. And so there's stuff that you're just like, well, if, if we start to slow down on what we're mixing, and you stop putting like five jean to five jean, you start getting like. A one or a two gene to a three gene and especially for people that are starting out where that's all that they can do yeah or it's easier to do sometimes you just produce really awesome stuff yeah like this this project's great speaking of calico stuff here's three siblings let's see now this one here this is a bumblebee what i believe it's so hard to tell what i believe is a bumblebee enchi calico possible asphalt but because of the flaming coming up i would say almost Asphalt. I mean, look, look at this. I mean, on the, the other pixelation. side here. Yeah, this pixelation here. Okay, right. so <laughs> that's the bumblebee enchi. Mm -hmm. Okay, you add orange dream to it. Oh, it wow. cleans it up a little. Yeah, a lot. And then <laughs> I would I up. would say this is probable. Asphalt. Wow. But isn't that just stunning? <laughs> it's incredible. Man. And then you go one more step, and these girls uh, are probably going into uh, the 50-40 rack. These two, this one here is sort of a, a picky eater, uh, of course. And then here, what I believe is because it's even super cleaner, uh, this is a super orange dream bumblebee enchi calico. A little bit of stuck wow. shed. So the same thing, except this one here is a little bit cleaner yeah definitely see this head here and the head i think is is more super compared to this one here where it's a little bit darker and not so bright yeah and it's the only other thing it could be and it's also probable asphalt also just the way the pattern looks at the very top of the head i compared to here so super yeah so super Man. od bumblebee calico enchi asphalt this is just the od bumblebee and then there's no od in this one so od really cleans it up yeah <laughs> man but yeah this one here is one of my favorites hopefully i can get her to breed late this season because just i love <laughs> the oranges yeah. isn't that ridiculous mm. i try not to talk from behind the camera but sometimes she's just <laughs> it's just yeah it's it's awesome looking man. wow and be able to see the progression is awesome yeah get three animals man it's a great project So this is a pastel leopard freeway, 50% head clown. Just <laughs> the crazy pattern that you get is just, <laughs> it's, it's mind blowing. It's, like, it's really you'd, awesome. You'd think it would be. It looks more puzzle than puzzle. You know yeah, I mean? you'd think it'd be a bit more um, kind of built together, but it's it's like just so broken up and like zigzag, like an electric bolt went Correct. through this. And then you go total on the opposite spectrum of being broken up. You add cinnamon and it just changes the coloration and uh, almost sort of bleeds everything together and more of a solid stripe. Man. I've noticed this a lot with GHI, black pastel, uh, even Mojave. Mm -hmm. So all the dark jeans in the freeway sort of gives it this linear 
stripe down the dorsal and sort of cleans and blends the patterns together. And then we got to show you Ducky since we're talking about freeways. So this is the Champagne Freeway. Mm. So this is what we call Ducky. And if you look at her face, we can tell why. Yeah, looks like a little duck bill. <laughs> so she's going to be moving up to the new 5040 tubs. Oh. And hopefully I can get her uh, a late clutch this year. Man. Yeah, yep, yep. She's a cutie for sure. <laughs> she's shy. For, for people that... um. Let's say they, they're afraid of snakes or they don't like the look of snakes. I mean, seriously, there's certain snakes out there that you look at that you're like, you're like, oh, well, that one's not so bad. The head on this one's just, it's just so cool. Damn. Start getting tied up into so many projects that you're like, I don't know where we could fit it all or where, which way should we go? Yeah, it is. The, the real answer really is everywhere. <laughs> so, I don't care. Yeah, it's crazy. You just, you know, my freeway combos eventually can go into some other stuff. Uh huh. And just you keep Christian crossing. So this one here is a pastel special. 100% het pied, 50% het monsoon. Nice. <laughs> but by looking at this, you can sort of see almost, it's almost like, um, I love the ringer, but even down here, it almost looks sort of like, um, I want to say almost like a paradoxing to almost looking sort of like a yeah, visual maybe. monsoon. Yeah, it's getting, definitely doesn't just look like a special pastel. So I, I'm, she should go later this year. So I'm pretty sure I'll be very happy if she proves out because I'll be hitting some, uh, you know, pastel and special monsoon pides. <laughs> Mind blown. No. Here we have a genetic striped pied. Um, now this doesn't one doesn't look here, what I would think it would look either. Yeah. So. Wow! Look how black. It is still pretty. A very pretty snake. Yeah. The genetic stripes aren't there. Basically, what the genetic stripe does is it basically takes, and and I guess washes out the saddles. So you just almost like what Mojave does mm -hmm. and similar to pin but it gives you that you can see the genetic stripe coloration in there yeah yeah and the outline of the the pied is just it's really dark it's really cool looking so um, I've been working with this um, a few years a uh, couple years ago we ended up making lavender double hets and I found that uh, some of the lavenders, even though they were double head genetic stripe pied, had sort of like a, almost like a spider wobble. Um, and I've also seen another genetic stripe pied that has bad neurological issues. So I think that's why we haven't seen so many genetic stripe pieds, because the genetic stripe and the pied were probably, one, you know, two of the first seven morphs that we, we had to work with. And you figured in 25 or 30 years, you'd they figured you'd see a lot more of them. And I think that's the reason why is because genetic stripe and pied do not work well together. So that's just yeah. an observation. I don't know if anybody else uh, has anything to back that up or yeah, and to sometimes, go against it. And sometimes it's, it's the animal that you're getting as well. Sometimes some animals, and this is just a reality of breeding, when you're doing this and sometimes the, the snakes you're getting, the genetics, just because of their, the pool's small in certain ones of them. Yep. And so some of them you'll get and they'll, they'll be okay. And they'll be like kind of a little bit all right. And then some of them will just be really bad. Like we've had a, a handful of clutches where we were trying to make uh, albino pides and the clutches kept dying or they'd come out real weird. And we're like, we did it, we did it a the few years. The are too close together. Yeah, we did it, yeah. we, you know, and we're like, you know, so what we did was we ended up actually selling both parents so to different people so they wouldn't breed again Correct. together. And, you know, it's just one of those things that sometimes this is the reality of it and you'll produce stuff. So this is something that you guys may want to know if you're trying to produce genetic striped pieds. It may be something that, you know, may not be a smart move just because of the, the way that it's going, but also it's something you really need to have a heads up on and better understand. And people don't always talk about that kind of stuff. And so we appreciate you showing us and, yeah. and explaining that. So, and it's a, it's a shame because it's a, it's a great project. I think it's really fun, great looking, but you know, sometimes stuff yeah. just isn't, it's just not, not in the cards. Not meant to be, yeah, correct. Yeah.
So this one here is a double het. Desert Ghost, or sorry, Enhancer, <laughs> Piebald. What's really weird is when it came out, right down the middle from the head, if you can get the head, right down the entire body, perfectly split in the center. You actually have a visual enhancer. That's crazy. And a het pied. But what's even crazier, okay, if you look underneath at the belly, look at look at the head pied marker, on or the tracks side, on yeah. the on the head pied side, but oh, not wow. on the enhancer side. That's amazing. <laughs> so even the marker came on the head pied, the head pied tracks on the head pied, and then the visual enhancer. This is this is unbelievable. Now this type of thing isn't really genetic to happen, but just an unbelievable. It's, this was a paradox, really, right? It's, yeah. I mean, it's, but it's. It's just a crazy it's basically paradox. Basically, it's showing both expressions Can you see, of the gene. Like, get close to see like how fine this line is, and in some spots, and in some spots, like right around here, it actually almost is like a paintbrush came across. So you can yeah, see some speckling in, and yeah, it's just, just re really odd. Unbelievable. Well, when you produce a lot of animals over time, you're going to get some interesting things happen. This is one. This is probably one of the most interesting things I've seen. It'll probably never happen again. Yeah, it's. I mean, just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. So this is Two Face or something. Is that what people call? Yeah, Two Face. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a really cool animal. It's uh, Bob Vu's working on something similar to that. Where's the head? Get the coconut oh, off. Wow. The head is just real weird. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't belong. It's yeah. So this is a cinnamon het red exanthic, lesser leopard, pastel, and we believe it's 100% het pied. So we'll be proving her out this year. Almost looks like a pied or tick. So it's not pied. Correct. <laughs> I think some people would have trouble believing that. It's yeah. weird. That's crazy. That's cool as an adult. For sure. What else we got crazy here? Cheeto. Oh yeah, Cheeto. That's why we call it Cheeto. Oh good, she's oh, not in yeah. shit. That's cool. So look at the oranges. Yeah, it looks like she... This is a Cinnamon Enchi Casper Ghost, which is another line of, of Ghost. It's compatible with Orange Ghost. Ryan hates Hypo. Just I, I love hypo. I mean, it's. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've He's got a lot of hypo. He's just trying to start fights. A lot of hypo oh in my clowns. Yeah. A lot of hypo wow. in the pied. That is just awesome highlighter orange. Imagine putting calico orange dream to that. Where you're in the same kind of situation with the. What else we got that's crazy? Um, Super GHI. Orange Dream, Cinnamon, I'm not going to say it, Dumpster Fire. Dumpster Fire. <laughs> this girl here. Pastel Super GHI. Oh yeah. Like the curly cues GHI does, and that bit of a highlighter on the top, but with the pastel, really brightens really, up. Yeah, really and, makes a pop. Yeah. Makes the blushing lighter and the darks darker. Crazy. There's my super banana head clown female. As an adult. Super banana head clown. Who would want one of the, do you, nobody wants those. Don't take that <laughs> off your hands. It's a female. Yeah, she's really lightened up and the colors and There's like pinks no and lavender. Speckling. Yeah, no speckling with the super. Awesome. I gotta remember to pay attention to the viewfinder. <laughs> like looking at the snakes, we're like, oh, it, I'm drifting. <laughs> oh, here's my girl here. Oh, yeah, Yellow Belly Dream. Ryan loves dream sickles. Check this one out. Keep your eyes on the viewfinder, Ryan. Oh, um, that's beautiful. We hope to make one our first dream sickle this year. Look at the highlighter in between here. Woo. 
keep saying highlighter. It's not a gene or anything. I'm just saying it's like somebody drew on it with a highlighter. Ready? Yeah. Born ready. Enhancer genetic stripe. Look at that head. Look at this head. Look at that head. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the difference between a Hanser and Desert Ghost? Well, I, they're definitely compatible. Um, I, to me, I see differences um, with the uh, the Desert Ghost and the Enhancer. Um, you want to show the difference? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna bring one over. Please don't be in shed. So bring it over here. So that's. That's not, that's not, that's not, this is Austin. I don't know if you guys met him yet. Yeah. <laughs> King Austin. King Austin. That one. Bring this one. Okay, okay. Ready? This one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, you took number one, right? Uh, I took the one to the left. Okay. So this is a desert ghost? No, that's an enhancer. This is an enhancer. Yeah. Bring the DG. So, one thing you'll notice, these are both mm. adults, is Enhancers are a little more brighter, and they also have a lot more blushing. Mm -hmm. What I notice most is, see the head? How it has sort of like a, a pattern around the head? Head stamp. Head stamp, sort of. Okay, see the, the dark? This one doesn't, if compared to. Oh, yeah. But if, just the, the, the coloration. So there's definitely it's, it's more of a. You can of see a, them side by side. It's clear. It's it's more greenier. This one here is more of a, of a. Yeah, and there's variations. I'm sure. Correct. Um. So. So this is a beautiful looking enhancer. Sure. So. And it's still great looking desert ghost. It's hard to. There's the, yeah. I mean. They're very similar. I work with both. Um, I don't really have a preference, even though I'm trying to keep them separate, even yeah. though enhancer as well as D DG are compatible. Um, but even with the pastel, I have pastel desert ghosts and mm -hmm. pastel enhancer. Totally different. They're they're night and day. Um, mm. I'm also trying to make a whole bunch of other ones. I've got lemon blast uh, desert ghost, lemon blast enhancers. Once they grow up a little bit more, I'm going to compare the two. Mm. But I'm not sure the year, but early 2000s, 2009, 2010. The person that I ended up buying all my enhancer stuff from, Regisco. Uh, they had a Bellline Desert Ghost and an Enhancer, and then they had the, the mix, the Enhancer DG. All three looked totally different. Mm -hmm. And same thing, the Enhancer had a bit more of a glow, but it could just be that the Enhancer that they pulled out of the wild is just a fresher line of Desert Ghost. Mm -hmm. Because sure. Desert Ghost, with the Bells, they've had you know 20, 30 years being mixed with everything back in the day, mm -hmm. so it, it maybe not as... as um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little depleted. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but from my seeing um, and, and producing, I do notice a difference, especially with, with color and head pattern um, and blushing. So, you know, it's too early to say. Um, I'm gonna keep them separate. I work with both, I love them both. I've got a lot of DG clown stuff and enhancer clown, same with pie and same with, with everything else. So, you know, five years from now, after I breed a lot of it, I can say, hey, look, look at the difference, you guys tell. Mm -hmm. So. But I love them both, and I think you need to have it in your collection. Absolutely, you know? hundred percent. Like <laughs> it's coming. The Enhancer Pied, or the it hasn't been made, but the Desert Ghost Pied, mind blowing. Yeah. Mind blowing. Oh, for sure. I got. I got to look at the label for this one. Super Pastel, Black Pastel, Phantom, Yellow Belly Ghost. Wow, there's a lot going on. Look at that head. It almost. <laughs> The head almost looked like there was stuck shed on it, and it's not. <laughs> That's crazy. It's almost and got like a translucent, That's the ghost. Like, it's like purpley silver. Yeah, yeah. Like, the ghost isn't in anywhere else, but aside from the dorsal, like around the top. The head is crazy. Look how dark the eye bands are on the sides compared to the blushing on the top of the head. It's just it's interesting. Man, that's cool. Ghost. Is it cool, man? 
That's super cool. I'm super excited to be here. So, you want to zoom in? I'll tell you when, Austin, not yet. So this here is a pastel, super special, visual monsoon. Wow. Okay. This is, okay. I produced this in 2016. I never knew I had monsoon until somebody, you know, suggested that I probably had it, came over, we black lighted it, and I'll show you what happens under the black light. Hit it, Austin. Okay, so if you can see, does the camera pick that up? Yeah, the pattern's clearly there. Yep, you can see. Let's see right here, there's a good one. You can actually see. All the stippling on the sides. Yep. And that's when I saw that under the black light. I'm like, wow. And this came from my original mail. I had a pastel crystal that I bought from Tom Baker. So that's when I knew I started putting some of my animals back together and that's how I produce my own monsoons. That's awesome, man. But at first I just thought I had a cool white super special snake with a few genes and thank god it was a female and i didn't sell it because i didn't know what it was and three years later i found out that it's a actual visual monsoon man you are super special <laughs> yeah <laughs> the head yeah so cool that's great yeah, you can visualize that's a fun let's 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 look at some of our, our snakes with black lights more often. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything with an orange dot yeah. is 50% hep monsoon. I have about 107 animals. That is a lot. <laughs> and the reason is, is because I didn't know. So I always say, it's not what you have in your collection, it's what you do with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I never ended up putting any of the lineage back because I didn't want to make any more super specials or any more crystals because I figured that boat has sailed for me anyways. So I never started putting siblings back together or, or trying to create super mm. specials and, and, and crystal combos because I, I did that in 2011, 12, 13, and I just sort of moved on. I guess one pairing mm. I did in 2016, I made a bunch of super specials and pastel super specials. And it, it, to me, the more genes it had, the whiter it got. Oh, I'll never do this pairing again. And, yeah. and that's where it was left off. And then now I found out that that's a visual monsoon and I proved it out. And now I got a lot of proving out to do. Yeah. So it's so fun when, when that happens though, like, um, we, we work with the Lori gene and that's that in Barchek's, you know, collection for like five years before he goes, let's do something. Oh, right. what is this? And, or, yeah. you know, and so Super stuff Lori. like that happens. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, Oh, <laughs> so like there's stuff out there. People work on the, we were talking about the dinger projects earlier and you're like, yeah, it's you just don't know. You don't know. And like I said, I've had that animal and these animals since 2010. First year breeding 11. And so so eight, nine years of breeding. And mm. only once that I ever put, you know, a, a sibling or genes back together. And I hit this and now I'm going to be doing more of that and hopefully proving out. I also picked up some 100% combo het monsoon male mm. uh, from Dave. So I'm using him as well to try to prove some stuff out also. So yeah, it's that's great. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we keep saying awesome, great, and cool because uh, it all is. <laughs> super pastel, super vanilla. That's what it's supposed to be. But this year we bred it, and we don't think it's super pastel. We just think it's pastel, super vanilla. Just a really amazing, exp you know, to to the point where really, yeah. Because head. that head screams super pastel, super vanilla, but we bred it and not everything from that clutch came mm -hmm. out pastel, which is baffling. So maybe right. there's something else. I have no idea. Yeah, I guess I can see what you're saying. I would expect it to be whiter in here. But that head spots. screams oh, yeah, super sure. pastel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, below it, there's a few animals. We got a pastel leopard clown het pied female. Pastel clown het pied female. And this one here, let's see your head, of course not. This is a super fly leopard double het clown pied. So oh, these man, ones here, are, right there. <laughs> these ones here are gonna be uh, going to our visual clown pied. I believe we put the clown lavender het pied to this one, just to go that extra, you know, that extra step. Mm -hmm. um, Oh yeah, there you go. Leopard Desert Ghost. Sure. 
Mm. Yeah, remember how we were talking earlier about like banana and lavender and some dark morphs? Leopard lavender? Yep. That's nice. Really makes the lav pop. Really deep tones. Yeah. How's the uh the pattern is lab? just so different compared to lavender, just the straight lavenders. It's cool. You never guess just putting an enchi in that you would get those oranges to come back out. Yeah. Adding enchis that uh, can't say uh the S name, but I forget what he was calling it now. <laughs> of course. Okay, so here's one here. Now this is one I'm really hoping to prove out. So this here is a black pastel, pastel, enchi, asphalt, 100% het lavender female, which is also 50% het monsoon. And, wow. I'm, and I'm hoping that if you notice, remember I showed you that other pastel um, special? Mm -hmm. Near the tail, it had this sort of weird marking. Like this almost looks monsoonish. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm hoping it is because then I'll have some. Ugh. Well, you wouldn't know what it would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, but it'd be some crazy monsoon stuff. So yeah. I, I would just be happy to prove that she's mon het monsoon as well. So double het lavender monsoon crazy but yeah, I just love the pattern on her I love uh, that she's powerhouse and asphalt so I can get this into my freeway stuff lots of stuff to keep moving towards this is the blackhead lavender oh nice so with that blackhead with the lavender it really makes the lavenders pop and the, the oranges there's oranges at the top Mm -hmm. you know and then it's instead of being a yellow like lavender it's more of a almost like a i don't want to say citrus pastel but you know a, a lighter pastel -y these are great orange we love lavender albino stuff we love lots of stuff <laughs> how can you not <laughs> i know it's just crazy that's awesome man that's awesome, man. That's Austin, man. Yep. Austin? Austin, man. <laughs> Austin, man. Austin, man. Does Here's whatever an Austin can. Pastel freeway? Those are gorgeous. This one here is getting paired to a banana yellow belly pied. Yeah. So some, <laughs> you know, <laughs> banana ivories, banana freeway combos with pastel. 100% have pied. A fan making a lot of noise. My air movers. Yeah. Do you want to quick talk about your setup here? Like, I mean. Yeah, so now that it's it's winter time here, I only have the one fan pushing this way and I have a couple smaller fans just circulating the air. Mm -hmm. I also have at the front, I have a, a, an exhaust fan at the window that sucks the air out. So I sort of have like a, sort of like a, a flow of air. Mm -hmm. uh, in the summer when it gets a lot warmer in here and it's more humid, as you can tell, I have air movers all around. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually pushing it this way and it gets blown over this way and then it gets pushed towards that and then the smaller fans push it out. So there's more air movement here um, because this is the hottest spot of the building mm -hmm. and it gets pushed over to here and then down the front and then exhausted out the back or it's out the window. System. So um, I've got little temperature around so I'm usually off, Gaging. that's 79.7, that's 88.1, so I'm off by about, about a degree. Um, but You're yeah, it works. I, herb I, stats, herb stat sixes. Yeah, I, I do think that uh, air movement is, is key. Um, you know, just for rotating air in and moving it around instead of being just stagnant. Mm -hmm. And people are gonna be asking us, so you have a, a really good system with your magnets here? Well, I wouldn't say good because uh, there are faults. So say for example, and that's why you sort of have to be on top of things and not have many people in. And you know, I, I, like when you guys came in, I had to go through the whole spiel because mm -hmm. someone will see this and go, oh, and, and change it. <laughs> Every, there's a reason for everything. So over here, when anything's up and down like this, that means I'm pairing. So there should be a male and a female in there. No. So that is a, Spinner Blast Het Desert Ghost to a Super Pastel Orange Dream Yellow Belly Het Desert Ghost. 
Gotcha. So when I look at this rack, I can see one, two, three, four, four pairings. Anything on a side like this, tilted, means there's a rat inside. And now that the rat is gone, now I can tilt it back so that I know there's no rat in there. Here's another one, uh, ASF at the back. So I'll leave that in there for now. If I was to change it, so I'll do that right now. Um, it didn't eat, so I turn it upside down, which means it didn't eat. I take the rat, I put it in the next bin and turn it. So now I know that that rat is not there, it's in here. And now that it didn't eat, it's upside down. And then That's another system. Yeah, and then another thing too is say there was something wrong, like a very bad shed, uh, you know, uh, needed immediate cleaning. I just basically tilt it up the same way, just like this. So now I know that something has to be done to this, whether, you know, it gets my attention to look. Uh, you, you have know. to soak it or you have to. Yeah, soak it. Um, or an assist feed or something like that. Just something. It just means that it's something that we have to bring to, bring our, to our attention. And if you look down here, got them. So because <laughs> I've had some animals, and I'm sure you have too, will attack, constrict, shouldn't say attack, but I guess. Feed. Well, feed, yeah, just, yeah. you know, natural instinct. They'll, they'll feed, constrict, doesn't mean they're gonna eat it. Sometimes I've had ones where they constrict it and then you go back, it's like, why didn't you eat? No. So I still leave it like that. So when I go back, I want to make sure that even though it's constricting now, that it fully takes the animal. Mm -hmm. So um, just something I do. It's it's easy and visual. I can I can teach it to anybody. Um, yeah. Nice and simple. And the magnet Perfect. system works really well. I don't have to use um, cards. Um, having a collection this size, having everything like that would be so much work. And if a card goes missing, wow. So. <laughs> Great. Basically visual and, and simple. Perfect. So here's a nice one. This is a leopard Mojave ghost. Really brings out the greens. She's going to an orange dream yellow belly fire pied this year. Making some really crazy power <laughs> combo males that are double head. And beside that. This is an orange dream leopard pied. This will be her first year breeding. Oh, and guess who she's going to? Same one, orange dream yellow belly fire pied. So super orange dream, yellow belly, fire leopard pie bolts. Crazy. Be amazing. <laughs> I'll be happy just with a super, I've never made a super OD pied. So, you know, if, if I have to miss on the leopard fire um, and the yellow belly, uh, I'll be happy. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but if, they, if, if I can hit super uh, orange dream pieds with some extra jeans, you probably see me doing the dilly dance, you know? Yeah, right. My first one, so I'm excited. Last year I had a chance, but uh, the female reabsorbed. So this year, this year's my year. Definitely be uh, staying tuned for that. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here at Mutation Creation. This is Billy. I don't know if you've ever met him. He's a really low key <laughs> guy. <laughs> Try to be anyways. Check it out. We're doing What Did We Buy? It's uh, one of our favorite segments. I hope you like it. And uh, the deal is, we give this guy money. He gives us a snake. We have no idea what it is. And we're going to be surprised along with you. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, it's hopefully. truly like, well, what did we buy? Like that's what it, that's what it is. Yes, yeah, so. it was sort of hard because it's like, you know, what do they need this? Do they need that? What do they have? So I, I told Austin, I'm like, hey, Austin, like, you know, go through, see what they have, see what they don't have, because hi, here's another one of the 75 that you have. Yeah, like, yeah, you know? no, that's perfect. So I figured. <laughs> well, at uh, least you didn't watch the videos on your own, because it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. 
I'm like, not bad, man. You guys are doing all right, man. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's not easy. It, you, you guys, it's not easy to stand in front of it and and, and do yeah. this. You know, it's, it it's you get more comfortable the more you do it. Mm -hmm. um, but at first, I mean, I see some of my older videos; they're, they're pretty bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, now we're, just yeah. We're in the so. same boat, man. Uh, yeah. And one of our gigs is that since we're so awkward, you know, our people, our fans say that they like it that we're awkward because it's yeah, like it's different. relatable. But yeah, it's relatable. I mean, yeah. I, mean I don't and know how just, people can relate to me because I'm like, woo, I'm we're all hyper. Real, real. I wow. wish I had half your energy, man. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's good at times, but other times it's like, no. Ryan's drinking like three coffees before some of the videos. You're like, he's like, I gotta get Punch on. me in the face. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> so. All right, so well, let's get into this. Okay, so I figured... All right. I didn't know. I, I got Austin do a little bit of deep, you know, searching, and uh, I figured since you're here in Canada, you come see me. This is probably perfect fit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna try to guess what it is. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing this before we even see what it is. Uh, we're we're gonna try to make the reaction. We try to do it when we we're, we're looking at, it, but every time we're like, <laughs> we just freeze. Like I don't know what to do because it's uh, we're excited. This so is this is Ryan's first time untying a knot. Um, we'll probably oh, speed I, this up. You were, you were talking. <laughs> and I just... There we go. <laughs> you want to open it? Mm. No, I'm going to peek in there. No, right? don't. Give me a little peek. All right. You can do whatever you want. I'll look what you got. Oh, that's a paper towel. Yeah. Oh, I had to hide it so I couldn't see through. Uh, ready? I'm ready. Female. Female. Dude. Oh, snap. Look at this. Pastel freeway. I Whoa. figured if you're gonna come see Billy from Mutation Creation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, that's what I'm he already about. doesn't like him. See, that's, I like that's what we've got great taste. This is yeah. amazing. So I figured wow. a very good example, especially with the you know the breaking of the line. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Look wow. at this. And as you know, see how they color up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I figured have oh, a female. It, it's always good to have. That's unbelievable, Dude, man. This is amazing. And that's, you know what? Yeah, thank that you way so much. You, I don't know. <laughs> I don't believe you have any freeway in your collection. We don't. We so don't. now you have yeah, a female not, pastel not freeway. Simple. Yeah, that's awesome, man. man. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's this is crazy. So, go right what did we buy a pastel freeway? It's <laughs> there. You go. It's not what we expected to buy. That's awesome. <laughs> you, you did. Oh uh, yeah, definitely more than we expected. That's awesome. I mean, Canadians are nice. We always hear, but. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully, wow. and we'll get some. Uh, it grows up nice and beautiful. Oh, wow! Wow! All right, so we're gonna get a close up of this. Look at this. They're, they're at it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let me grab the camera. We'll get a close yeah, up. Get in close. We have uh, one gravel and one highway. That's it. This is awesome. I can't believe you're giving us both of these. It's just <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is feisty. That's great. That's what we want, actually. People are always like, "Oh, you know, I want to make sure it doesn't bite me." And you're like, "No, no, no. I want the ones that are trying to eat me, because then we know they'll eat." Check this belly. Wow. I like how crazy the uh, pattern's just broken apart on the sides, and then how clean. The stripe is so that's why you would call it a freeway. Is look at the broken up dorsal line there. That's amazing, dude. I can't wait to put banana into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love banana. It works so well with freeway, exceptionally well. Absolutely, man. That's great. Oh. Thanks. My pleasure. Cool. <clears throat> So, I just uh, want to really thank Billy for allowing us to come and check out his place. It's amazing, and I know you guys have seen his videos, so we're going to put his links in the description below. Um, definitely, yeah, not a thumbs down. Yeah, just what am I doing? <laughs> just I should have pointed down. What did I do? Jeez. I, sc I don't only screw up in my own videos. I screw up in yours, too. No, At least fine. I'm consistent, man. Yeah, that's good. I think I screwed up in Gavin's video, too, didn't I? Well, yeah, uh, I'm consistently screwing up in every video. It's all right. just we, my, and there's Austin laughing. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's so, awesome, yeah. as you guys know, if you watch his other videos, and, you know, he has amazing videos out there, um, we didn't show nearly... A, a just a, not even an impression of what he has like we just showed just a few things so make sure you go watch his videos and check out the new stuff that he has going on uh i think we're going to be doing a, a clutch cutting soon i yep. um, in one of his videos and that'll be coming up so make sure you guys check that out we'll put that also in the description below awesome so it's thank you so you. much i'm glad you guys Thanks, came thank up. you yeah it's inspiring and, uh, seeing all this can't yeah, wait to see you guys on. tomorrow at the uh at Absolutely. the expo here yeah yeah we're uh here in canada taking over awesome <laughs> 
Just kidding. That's not. Don't. I don't. I don't want to deal with any Mounties. That's, we're all afraid of, of Mounties down. I don't. I don't the, remember the last time I've United seen States. a Mountie. You don't, you don't have them, <laughs> is that a real thing? Is that a real thing? No, we have OPP. OPP? We don't have. OPP? Are you down with OPP? Not, not in Ontario. Okay. They have Mounties in other. Okay. <laughs> but I have seen a Mountie in my lifetime. I just I haven't seen them in a long time. I've, I've never seen. I've only seen it on that '70s show. Okay. Well, maybe you don't no, want to. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's best you don't see any Mounties. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, we're trying to avoid it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you uh, like this video, subscribe below, and hit that uh, notification bell. And, uh, yeah, see you on the next one. It's us. I'm still framing the shot, then. Are you ready? Yeah. Put your face on. My, my face is always on. Ben, put your face on. My face is on. <laughs> <laughs> my game face. My R&B Reptiles face. We love trash trips, though. Um. He's Rose and Rose and Rose. That's why his name is Billy Rose. I'm moving pretty fast. You're supposed no. to put it on the gimbal. Yeah. Try straight. Best right. way to do it. Is take it out like this. And stretch them. Yep. And yeah, in shed. In shed, yeah. So if you do this, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Okay, so this. We need some more uh, words. Uh, if you wanted better words, you should have dated a worder. Date a languager. <laughs> Let the heat begin. Yeah, okay. It's all smart. Snap! 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 That would be loud. Oh, I only heard one of them while we were filming. It's because I don't got many gnats kicking around. It's because <laughs> my right. collection's clean. It is really clean. Not, in not here. a lot of poop around. That's, That's good. Right. Just us. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you ready to do this? You filming? Yeah, yeah. We're good. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <clears throat> are you bringing us in? <laughs> I can. You want to? I'll bring us in. Okay, good.